Hello there. This is another experiment as the same or previous setup as before um, with the casher going into the antenna oscillating around 600 kilohertz or so and then the yoke going through uh, an input coil and powering just one of those light bulbs for now. Um, this is going to be the amp meter for the 12 volt for the yoke supply and then 24 volt system powering the casher. They did have to be independent power supplies for the effect to uh, really happen. I also think um, this could also be based off of this pattern here. Farnsworth amplifier. It uses a high frequency oscillator as well as a low frequency oscillator and he calls this an electron multiplier for causing small space currents to liberate large currents and additional electrons so it's very cool we'll uh, be checking out the waves here and everything it could still also be based off of this here parametrics as we'll uh, I'll show you that here in a moment but uh, here we'll just turn on the case here for now and we can see even one of the light bulbs comes on so that's the current draw at the moment so we can see there's a nice electrostatic field oscillating there which is part of Philo's pattern and now let's um, turn on the yoke and that's with the yoke so this is um, the waveform here very cool I'm going to turn off the casher so that's without the casher and on very cool let's check out the frequencies here so the yoke isn't vibrating at the proper frequency at the moment. I think it needs to be a little bit higher. But the effects are very cool. And we could see how capacitance can change the tuning of the output. So, very interesting stuff. That's um, the current draw on the yoke driver. Let's see, um, and then this is just the yoke here. And that's with the case here. So yeah, very interesting stuff. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.